Everybody, it's Nate doing a day hike. Goal today, pretty straightforward. Trying to summit the White Mountain Wilderness High Point, Lookout Mountain, and Sierra Blanca Peak in that order near the town of Rudoso. This is uh, New Mexico's only ultra, most prominent and most isolated peak. Sierra Blanca is, that is. And um, really wanted to hike it for a long time. Problem is just that uh, this area is three and a half hours away. And with it being an ultra, it kind of has its own weather. And the weather never really looks that great. Ironically, weather today is not looking too great either. Some chance of rain. I know a pretty serious chance of thunderstorms east of here. I don't think it's really supposed to hit this area, aside from maybe a slim chance this afternoon. But hopefully we'll be well off the peak by then. Um, why did I decide to do this despite the weather in the forecast? Same reason as last hike. Uh, Pretty much my last chance to hike before I go on hiatus and uh, wanted to at least say I tried. I think we'll have no problem hitting the, high, the Wilderness High Point or Lookout Mountain. The problem will be what the wind and rain situation is when we set our sights towards Sierra Blanca. I just got off the White Mountain Wilderness High Point. I've been kind of double timing it, haven't filmed much because I checked my phone and now all of a sudden there's a 15% chance of rain every hour this morning. I don't think that means it's gonna, there's a chance of thunderstorm. I'm not totally sure. Uh, mountain forecast says nothing. I haven't really checked. Those are usually Google and mountain forecast are the ones I use, like I said last episode. But uh, this hike is living up to its reputation. It's incredibly windy right now. Uh, but Sierra Blanca looks pretty free of snow. So I'm really hoping that uh, we don't have any issues getting up. That's where we came from. So the true trail kind of goes around the right of that slope. You don't have to scramble up the ridge is what I've read. Awesome. We have made it to the top. Beautiful weather. It's windy, but miraculously on the summit, I mean, you can hear it. It's really not that windy. Um, I wouldn't say there was any exposure coming out. It was pretty steep. And you could see, like, I don't know, I get vertigo really easily. And if I looked around too much, I, I maybe felt it a little bit. But yeah, I really, sorry, I don't know why I did this while I was eating. <laughs> It really wasn't that bad as far as pretty much no exposure. I'd call it uh, I'd call it a class two scramble. I think the trip report before mine said um, there's no need to put a hand to, to a rock. That might strictly speaking be true, but it's a lot easier if you do put your hand to a rock. So I call it class two scramble.
Americans can't really do this summit justice. Um, just basically see everything in New Mexico. Um, can't really see North Pascaina's peak too much. Can't really see the Sandias. I know hypothetically the Sandias are visible, but it's a little too windy, too cloudy. But other than that, I mean, I just see incredible amounts of peaks. I see Mount Withington, which I summited of about a month ago. Just no shortage of beautiful views. Clouds are starting to build a little bit. So I think I'm going to get down the mountain before it starts raining or anything. Just A plus view from New Mexico's only ultra. And obviously, by extension, it's most prominent peak. New Mexico's most isolated peak. And uh, I think it's a county high point too. And also, I'm happy to say that now that I've summited this peak, I've summited every 11,000 foot peak in New Mexico outside of the Rocky Mountains. Uh, and I only have two left in uh, the Tusas Mountains. So other than that, all of them are in the Sangres. Really, really happy I came out here and did this. I can't tell you, I was, my alarm went off at 2.30. I checked the weather, it looked a little too rain heavy for my liking and I, all, I actually went back to bed. But then like I, five minutes later, I was like, you know what? I just gotta go. If it rains and I can't do it, at least I say I tried. And I'm so happy I did. See my car, or almost anyway. Super amazing hike. Can't really ask for anything else. Never did rain. Back before noon means I get to get home at a reasonable time. Just very thankful for this hike. Thanks for joining me. See you guys after baby number two. Take care.